Say something that will make my day. Cause these memories of her won't go away. They're haunting me so I can't sleep. She was a pretty little liar who cut me deep. Cause she left me here alone. Now my bed feels just like cobblestone. Oh, oh. why did she go? Oh, oh. was I supposed to know that she'd leave? Was I the- hey, sweet friends, welcome back. Today, I thought it would be fun to bring you with me as I tackle just some basic, simple kitchen to-dos this morning. We're gonna be doing some meal prepping. I am currently straining off some kefir grains. I do this every single morning for a um, smoothie that I make for myself, but we're also going to make a delicious burger bowl recipe that's great for meal prep or lunch or dinner. And then we're also just gonna give the kitchen a good deep cleaning and get it feeling cozy and fresh and light the candles and add some decor and just enjoy being in this space so if you're excited about all of that this morning be sure to give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching Before we go any farther, I wanted to stop and kindly thank the Home Depot for sponsoring today's video. They have a super savings event happening right now until June 21st for up to 70% off select furniture, kitchenware, and home decor. And the Home Depot truly is such a hidden gem. It is the best kept secret when it comes to all of your home decorating and interior design needs. So let's dive into some of the recent items I picked up from the Home Depot sale going on right now, starting with this yogurt maker. I have been loving making yogurt from scratch lately for the kids in the summer. We have it with fresh fruit every morning and this has been such an easy, simple process and the sale on this machine right now is pretty great. I feel like it's a really affordable price point and I love that I can store the yogurt in the fridge in the same container that it cooks so it's less mess but we've been having these yogurt parfaits almost every morning with fresh fruit from the farmer's market and it's such a dream and it just feels good making it from scratch making it at home. also picked up a cordless food chopper which I can chop, I think it is the label set up to 40 onions before having to recharge. So I feel like that's a good amount of time um, between charges, but this is awesome because I can take it anywhere in the kitchen. I can whip up a quick salsa or sauce, and I just think that's gonna come in handy big time. I also received a new air fryer. I um, love cooking anything and everything in my air fryer, whether it's fish or chicken or veggies, um, sweet potato fries, you name it. (laughs) I love it. Last but not least, I picked up this beautiful ginger jar inspired vase. I love incorporating blues and whites for summer decor. So I decided to fill these with some beautiful faux hydrangeas and they look really nice displayed in my kitchen. There is such a large array of big name brands that you can shop from the Home Depot. Definitely check out their summer savings event for again, up to 70% off. So be sure to check out the Home Depot's website or check out my description below for all of the links that I shared um, from today. And thanks again, the Home Depot for sponsoring today's video.
Now that breakfast is served, I can get started on cleaning up the kitchen. I'm just gonna start by loading up the dishwasher so that my sink can get nice and clean and clear. And Maggie is my honorary um, dishwasher. She loves to come down when the dishes are dirty and look up whatever she can that's left on the plates. As I'm about to clean my sink, I love to add some citrus essential oil to my garbage disposal. It makes the entire kitchen smell fresh and new, but I'm going to use Barkeeper's Friend to scrub my sink this morning. I have a cast iron sink and I find Barkeeper's Friend to be um, just the best when it comes to getting any scuffs or stains out. It gets it shiny and white and clean every single time and who does not love a squeaky clean shiny sink i love a good relaxing morning just tackling chores getting my home feeling fresh and clean I encourage you to get up and join me this morning if you're watching. Um, but I am just wiping down my quartz countertops now and I like to use my homemade um, sort of DIY solution, which is one part water, one part rubbing alcohol. And while I don't love the scent of this, I find that it disinfects, it cleans really well, and it leaves my countertops nice and shiny and streak Free. So give this a try if you have quartz countertops and let me know if this works for you. So now that we have most of the surfaces wiped down, I'm going to redecorate these open shelves here in the kitchen, starting with some basic white dishware. I love to stack plates and bowls on these shelves as well as the vintage ironstone that I collect. So I just put a couple of pictures on there. I also happen to have some assorted crocs. And just for some contrast and a pop of wood texture, I'm gonna stick some rolling pins in a large crock and then some wooden spoons and utensils in a smaller crock. And I think that this turned out really cute. I already talked about this when I shared my vase from the Home Depot, but I wanted to just quickly share again in real time this beautiful white and blue vase. It is so pretty for the summer months. And then I did a mixture of white and green faux hydrangeas in them, and it just really pops. I'm gonna stick these on the open shelves just for a pop of color and brightness, and it really did brighten up the look of the coffee bar area. I wanted to just make sure everything was stocked up near my coffee machine and coffee bar area. I always decorate with this tray and these cutting boards to cover up the outlet. But then I'm just gonna fill up my glass canister with some more coffee pods for my Nespresso machine and then just some honey in case we have tea. And then I stuck a little faux plant, or not even a plant, these are just little greens that I cut off of a faux plant because I didn't need a ton. I just cut them off and I'm sticking them in this sugar dish just for a pop of color. I think it looks nice putting some tea here, just getting it restocked so that whenever somebody wants a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, you can just come over here and grab it. I also picked up this tea organizer um, and so far I'm really loving it. 
I've been drinking a lot of tea in the afternoons and the evenings lately, and so having them all organized all out on display where I can see them and just grab something that I want is really nice. I also shared about these peaches earlier when making the yogurt parfaits, but I just had picked these up from the farmer's market earlier in the week and decided instead of leaving them in the bag they came in to put them in a pretty bowl on display. Sometimes the most natural organic decor really is the best. And even in the summer months, I love to have a cozy lamp in the kitchen for ambient lighting. And now I had picked up some eggs from a neighbor friend. She always gives me farm fresh eggs and I'm so grateful to her. But I love having farm fresh because they are unwashed so I can leave them out at room temperature and they just look pretty displayed, almost like decor. But I happen to have this little wire basket and I filled it up and they just look pretty sitting on my couch our top. I feel like you guys have heard me say this in my more recent videos, but I'm really drawn to simplified content right now and just tackling attainable, easy tasks throughout my day whether it's some simple homemaking when I'm tidying up and sprucing up my kitchen for summer, making a quick meal, just little things that are an encouragement and source of motivation to your day. So let me know down in the comments, are you enjoying this content? Um, what inspires you and what else would you like to see more of here on this channel? I would love to hear from you. And now I'm going to share this really delicious, simple burger bowl recipe. These are all of the ingredients I had on hand to make this, but really you can get as creative as you would like. Just think about what burger toppings you typically like and go from there. This is something I've been making myself for lunch quite often. Um, Caleb, will, Caleb and I will have this for dinner sometimes too. And I'm also frying up some sweet potato fries in the air fryer. So I wanted to mention that before we got started, but um, I'm just going to brown up this ground beef. We recently bought half a cow um, from a local farm and I, I'm trying to just get creative with all of the beef recipes that I can. So using this up with these burger bowls has been great. I don't have any cherry tomatoes or any tomatoes in my garden yet, but I know I'll have tomatoes coming out my ears in the next month or so. So 
finding lots of recipes using fresh lettuce, fresh tomato. I will say my lettuce is from the garden. I have tons of romaine right now, which is really nice. And this romaine is going to serve as our base for the bowl. You could use whatever lettuce, spinach, arugula, whatever greens you would like or that you have on hand for this. I didn't really measure, but this is a simple like Big Mac sauce, animal style sauce. Um, recipe and it's a squirt of mayo, ketchup, a little bit of yellow mustard, a little bit of sweet relish, and then just a splash of distilled white vinegar, some salt and pepper, and you mix it up and that's it. You'll get this beautiful, creamy, delicious burger sauce and this is what we're gonna put on the bowls today. Next, I'm adding some homemade pickles. These are spicy dill. They are so delicious. I can't wait to have, again, more cucumbers from the garden to be able to pickle, but I did make these with store-bought cucumbers and then pickled red onion. You could definitely use good old raw red onion or white onion, but I love the taste and tang of pickled onions. Then you're gonna to top that with your seasoned cooked ground beef and then whatever cheese you would like. And I also added a few of these sweet potato fries to mine just to make it more filling and let's be honest, more delicious. And then topped it with our homemade burger sauce that's inspired by a Big Mac sauce or maybe In-N-Out sauce, kind of that style of sauce. And there you have it, a delicious and tasty and healthy burger bowl that's great for lunch or dinner or whatever you would like. And with that, it's time to sit down and enjoy myself a delicious lunch. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Let me know if you try this recipe and um, be sure to check out all the links to the Home Depot down in the description. And I will see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye.